I'm Master Personal Trainer Jim D, and you're watching Fitness Blitz TV. I'm here in West Harrison, New York, with my good friend and fellow fitness professional, Brian J. And we're going to demonstrate the best way to tighten up your abs and your core in response to Bob's question. What Brian is going to do here is the crunch on the half ball or the BOSU ball. Brian, would you crunch? And what Brian is recruiting here is up and down, please is recruiting his rectus abdominis. Those are the muscle bands that go up and down. Those are the bands that you see in the summertime, your six pack abs. But those aren't the only muscle groups that we're going to recruit in what we're doing exercise wise today. So Brian's gonna do a few more. He's tightening everything up, he's supporting here, he's not reaching down too much with the, the leg muscles and taking away from his ab muscles. And he's getting a nice tight contraction. This is one of the three best exercises to tighten and strengthen your core region. And this is good. And Brian's going to relax, and I'm going to take a hop onto the captain's chair for the next set of exercises. You might recognize this device. You see it in your gym all the time. It's called the captain's chair. And what it allows is for a complete suspension of the lower body that your abs, your core, will have to support as it lifts, bringing the knees up to the body. Keep your knees in a fixed position and tighten the belly button. Bring your belly button tight to spine. Now you can add a twist. Remember to get both directions. This way you get the obliques, as well as the erector, and as well as the isometric contraction of the transverse, the muscle that's going between the hip bones. And we're down. Now what Brian is going to do is the bicycle crunch. Again, the third of the three best exercises to achieve that strong core, that strong ab girdle. So Brian, if you would. Now, you want to make sure that you're elongating, you want to activate the obliques which go sideways down the abs. You want to activate the transverse which is going across by pulling in with that isometric contraction right across from the belly button and down. And everything else is going to crunch nicely. The erectus abdominis are working again. And you're working all three muscle groups. Now for you tough guys out there, you think, oh, all right, this isn't enough for you. Brian's going to demonstrate a more efficient, a more difficult aspect of the same exercise. Again, he's stretching nice and open. He's opening up the obliques. He's opening up the serratus. He's opening up the entire ab core. Just give me a few more. Five, four, three, two, one. And we're down. And again, we're at Strata. You want to come visit us here in West Harrison, maybe some days when we're filming, or you're going to check out Brian's personal training, the fabulous classes that they give here, and we'll be back filming more Fitness Blitz television in the future. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to do these very same exercises at home without the same equipment that we have here, because I know a lot of you don't have a captain's chair and you don't have the BOSU ball. So we'll be back in a moment. Now, we're going to do two more exercises. We're using the resistance ball, the uh, exercise ball that everyone has in their house. If not, you could pick one up probably at your local drugstore or your local sporting goods store. I'm not going to give any endorsement names because, hey, they're not paying me just yet. So for now, you know what it looks like, you know where to pick one up. They also have them at your gym, so avail yourself to using them when you're there as well. You're going to bring your body onto the ball. Your belly button's going to be try straight down on the noon position at the ball as if there was a north pole on the ball. Your belly button is going to go, your belly button is going to go right down on top of it. You're going to bring your body forward. You can stabilize your feet against so I'm using the captain's chair. You could use a wall or a couch or something along those lines. Bring your body all the way down like you're diving into water. Bring your head down. Stretch this area as well. Everything is nice and relaxed. <clears throat> bring your body up and row your arms back. And then dive back into that water. You're going to swim down, bringing your body back up. Do a controlled motion of the arms. Bring the shoulder blades back nice and tight together. What you may want to think is as you're down here, you're in the water, you're coming up, you're making a V, you're making a W, you're making an L as the elbows come into the ribs, and you shoot back down. Now, we're going to stay on the ball and go right into our next exercise. Resting the neck and shoulders on the ball, your nose is going to go up to noon, your butt is going to go down, and your spine is going to wrap to the ball, bringing everything back up, squeezing tight, bringing your transverse abdominis in, bringing your glutes nice and tight, squeezing everything, and pushing back down. Again, start out with sets of 10, 10 reps. 
They don't have to do them fast, do them nice and slow. You'll feel them up and down the spinous. If your spine is tight, if you feel a tightness in your lower back when you're doing the exercise, obviously you stop. But a lot of times what people will find is that when they're in this position, they feel a nice relaxing stretch in the lower back. So something that you could think about when you want to relax the lower back and when you want to strengthen the lower back as well. Okay, and we'll be back when we show you the way to do these very same exercises at home. We'll be right back. You're back watching Fitness Blitz TV. I'm Jim D. and I'm here with my friend Lisa. Lisa's going to demonstrate the same exercises that we did in the gym, but at home using the equipment that you would have at home. What we have here is the exercise ball, which we also used in the gym, but this again, you would have at home rather than a BOSU ball or one of the other gym-specific pieces of equipment. So what Lisa's going to do is the myotatic crunch, or just the crunch on the ball, bring her body up, her nose is coming up to the ceiling. Give me 10. Keep the neck open, so like there's an apple under the chin. Nose comes straight up, three, four. She's crunching everything in here. She's getting a nice stretch. You see there's a negative aspect to this as her body molds to the ball rather than just stopping at the floor. If you stop at that 180, you're not getting the extra flexion and the abs that you actually need. And Lisa's gonna give me five more. Five, four, three. And she's nice and tight in here, nice and contracted. One, good, Lisa's gonna come off the ball. We're gonna go into the next exercise. The second exercise that we're going to do is the isometric contraction of the transverse ab. This is what we were using the captain's chair earlier. Here, we don't have a particular device, so what Lisa's going to do is she's going to squeeze these muscles by bringing her belly button up to the spine, squeezing, 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 hold nice and tight. She's gonna hold for 10 seconds. It's gonna activate all of the muscles in her, in her transverse. It's going to pull the erector. It's going to pull the obliques. She's going to release, release, release. Now the muscles are nice and relaxed, and she's gonna contract again. Bring it up and in. Now you can do these contractions for up to a minute, 10 seconds at a pop. The stronger you get, the more advanced you become with this, the longer you could hold the contractions. And she's gonna release again. And that's how we tighten up the transverse ab. What Lisa's going to do now, instead of using a captain's chair, we're going to use the Total Gym, which is available at your, again, local sporting goods stores, you can buy them online, this type of thing. And she's going to activate the transverse ab, the oblique, and the erector abdominis by bringing the knees up first into center. Give me five. Oh. And extending out, bring up again. Now she's not concentrating too much on the muscles in the legs. She's tightening the, the sides of the belly. She's pulling in with the belly button. She's gonna get an active twist, so bring a twist in, go in one direction. Just like we did on the captain's chair, except she has a little bit more support, but she is holding her body at extension, so she's holding her weight up, so she has an active torso. Now bring us up to the other direction. And she's working, this girl is working. So believe me, this is not very easy to do, but when you do it, you're gonna have the abs that you want, you're gonna have the look that you want. And she's gonna bring everything down. Good, and relax. So there it is. I've showed you three exercises that you could do in your home or in your gym. They activate the main muscle groups in your ab region and your core region, your transverse, sideways, your obliques, and your erector abdominis. But the true secret to getting thin and revealed tight, sexy abs is cardio. You've got to work all that extra stuff off, the soda pop, the candy, the white breads, everything else that you've eaten all the day, that comes and sits around the middle section. Believe me, I know and a lot of other people know. Lisa does her cardio every day. She goes crazy with her cardio. So I want to thank Lisa. I want to thank Brian J. And I want to thank Strata Gym in West Harrison, New York for allowing us to film. And uh, you guys, come back and see us again on Fitness Blitz TV. Get that cardio in, get that ab work, and come this summertime, you're going to look great. Get blitzed.